All right, we've got L. Travis here, who is the executive hey. director of Yes Arts here in the studio. L, thanks for coming to visit us. Awesome. Thank you all so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. Um, so I know you guys have a lot going on right now, and we want to make sure that everybody understands what's happening and what you guys are up to and where you are and the different programs that are available. Um, so maybe just start with like the organization and what, what kind of things y'all provide for the community. Okay. Um, is it okay if I start with the history? I think that oh, helps yeah. people. Totally. Okay. So, um, a lot of people know we are, we are now known as yes arts. Um, we started as hands healing hearts and that was an organization that started, um, in, We'll dial it all the way back. In 2015, um, an artist here in Frankfurt named Doris Thurber lost her daughter Maya to a heroin fentanyl overdose. And she started, she didn't start making art, she was already making art, but her art shifted to help her as she was healing from that um, tragic loss. And she recognized that art is healing and that she wanted to give that gift to other people. And in 2016, she and a couple of other artists, Joanna Hay and Jennifer Zing, partnered with um, the Franklin County Drug Court Program. And the women of the Drug Court Program came every week to the studio and did art classes with, with Doris and guest artists. And later, Karen Hatter came in and taught with her. Um, and they would get anything from visual arts, uh, poetry and writing. Um, they did uh, theater, art, um, skits and acting things out. So it was really a whole lot of um, different types of um, things that they saw in that program. And then after that program kind of progressed, it grew and we um, hired executive director Amelia Berry. And many people know her name in our community and she's actually, I took her position and she's now moved over to another program called Just Say Yes. And I know that gets confusing for people because we're Yes Arts now and they are Just Say Yes. Um, but it all started because we looked in the rearview mirror and where we were helping people in recovery, we wondered how can we help people not fall into the cycle of addiction? Our mission is mobilizing the power of community and the arts to disrupt the cycle of addiction. And so we felt like we needed to implement a youth program, a prevention model, and so Amelia started doing this research and it led her to this program out of Iceland um, with an American um, leader. His name is Dr. Harvey Milkman. And Amelia actually did some amazing work. She's a um, Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Culture of Health leader. That's a mouthful, but it's awesome. It means that she does really great things. <laughs> and she went and got Dr. Harvey Milkman to come to Frankfurt. She got buy-in from our city and county governments, both all the school districts, um, just so many people supporting it. The Franklin County ASAP, which is Agency for Substance Use um, prevention and the Franklin County Health Department and so all of these organizations came together and we had a symposium about substance use prevention in our youth and she launched this program that's now funded by the CDC called Just Say Yes and so it started with Yes Arts and it moved over to the health department and she's over that now. So that leaves everybody wondering, well, then what is Yes Arts? And so I'm excited today to announce that we are going to be opening a community arts center right downtown on 2nd Street. It's actually going to be in the old Frankfurt Plant Board building. Um, right next, uh, it's going to be the Yes Arts Center at City Hall, and it's right next to City Hall and the Fire Department at 317 uh, West 2nd. So that's what we've got going on, and we are just so excited. Um, we can't wait to get open. <laughs> awesome. So what is your uh, timeline for opening that? Well, we're a little bit hindered by COVID, as I'm sure everybody has been. Um, right now, I've got paint under my fingernails because we're painting um, walls and buildings and trying to get everything nice and beautiful. Um, there will be a gallery space in, um, in the front foyer, um, the Board of Commissioners Gallery. And so we're working to do track lighting and hanging fixtures in that space. Um, there's going to be a recovery room where we hold our recovery programs. Um, and that will also be named the Thurber Gallery after our founder Doris. Um, we'll have a youth room where we'll hold after school art programs, we'll hold summer camps, um, pop-ups, holiday things, all kinds of stuff. Um, and really it's just a really great space. We're excited to have that, um, that location. It's accessible to people. Um, it's centrally located in downtown where 
not just the city schools. Of course, Second Street is right across from us, so kids can walk over. But I'm excited to look into partnerships with the county schools and the, pri- and the private schools as well to see if we can get kids bused down. Okay, so it sounds like there's, it's, there's going to be services for a wide age range of people. Yes. So, um, so like we're talking school age kids all the way up through adults, correct? Actually, we've never done this before, but we're going to be launched. It's going to be all ages, all people, everyone is welcome. So traditionally we had the recovery program. We're going to also look to expand that recovery program. Um, I'm interested in um, holding support groups like Al-Anon and doing, you know, creating through art and healing through those family support groups as well. We want to look at the holistic person and, you know, it's not just the person who's in recovery or, you know, is coming out of addiction, but also their family members are greatly affected. Um, In addition to that, we're going to hold all of our school age programs, but I'm going to take it down a level because what we know is when we implement good things into youth lives, um, things like art programs and and they grow friendships, they have strong mentors, um, we know that that will help them not fall into the cycle of addiction later. We're very uh, data-driven. We love looking at statistics. We love collecting surveys of our participants so that we know that the work we're doing in our community is um, supported and, and, um, you know, that it's going to really help people. So we're going to launch also all the way down to the toddler age um, because something that I find as a mother with young children is it's hard to find um, programs in the Frankfurt community for little ones who aren't yet in school to help them with socialization, um, to help them um, building those friendships and really support for mothers and fathers and grandparents who are who might be staying at home or who just have a little one in the home that they just need a little something to do. So we're going to have toddler uh, play learn groups in the facility as well uh, when we get up and running and get where we, where we can all be together safely. Um, and those will look like just a big mess probably. So you can bring your toddler down and make a mess at Yes Arts instead of at your house. <laughs> so it'll be all ages. Okay. So, uh... Once the center is open, will will it be like a walk-in situation, or are you going to have like a scheduled time for the different classes and different age groups to That's meet? That's a great question. Mm-hmm. We will probably have um, enrollments um, channeled through our website. Um, we may have pop-up um, workshops and things that could be walk-in, but likely it'll probably all revolve around um, enrollments, mm-hmm. just because it is really tough for us. We also have an artist roster of about 50 artists, um, 50 plus, because it's growing every day. Um, Those are people primarily in Frankfurt, but throughout Kentucky who are just local artists and they're, they come onto our roster and then we can insert them into different programs. So we recently during the early part of the pandemic did a virtual arts, a visual arts academy that was virtual on zoom. And it was six weeks and each week we had a different artist who came um, and taught their specialty. So we had a painter um, come and do painting with the students. We have someone do clay and drawing and photography. And so we like to use that different group of people, but it's hard for planning purposes if you don't know who's coming. You've got to get supplies. Um, And a big part of what we're trying to do right now is is garner up support and funding. Um, We are a 501c3 nonprofit. And so having a new building with a new space, um, my role has become Previously, we had a space, but it was much smaller. Um, And then during the pandemic, we were operating mostly virtually and still are um, with our programs through the recovery program. And so we're just looking to expand everything. And with that, you know, obviously there's a need for funds. So we we are grant grant funded. Um, We have great partnerships with um, the Kentucky Foundation for Women, the Kentucky Arts Council, Snowy Owl, um, just to name a few, South Arts. So we have grant funds, but we're looking for more support because in order to to run this community art center in the way we truly want i mean we just want it to be great for everybody so we need the dollars to do that well it's a good opportunity to tell people how they can give dollars <laughs> yes <laughs> Uh, so somebody wants to uh, donate some funds or contribute to this um, effort what do they need to do um we try and make it easy we you can just call me up and i'll come get it you can go on our website which is yesarts.org y-e-s-a-r-t-s dot o-r-g um, there's a donate tab right there on our page um, you can mail it to 317 west second street um, in frankfurt uh, you can any way you want to give money we'll come we'll come and figure it out uh, you can call me directly 502-229-4686 that's my direct cell phone and you all can call me up and we will make it happen 
if, if, are there other things like short of funds, like the volunteering opportunities for folks? I mean, it sounds like just a yes. mass. I mean, it's going to be amazing, but it, I think it sounds a like a lot of work to get it up, <laughs> yeah. right? So it is. Can, you, we, can you use some help there? We can definitely use some help. Um, we have signups on our website where you can go um, to enlist as a volunteer. Um, that's also on the yesarts.org on a volunteer tab at the top. Um, and it'll have you select what you – we want to – have people volunteer and we you know I always feel like when we do volunteer opportunities sometimes we raise our hand and then somebody says oh you're gonna be doing that and you're like oh no I didn't want to do that mm -hmm. so um, we have a way where you can sign up and you can tell me what you're good at mm -hmm. um, so we have a facilities committee and that is gonna be people who want to help me paint get the, fa the paint under your fingernails um, people who want to go um, clean we have an organizing committee people who want to help me sort art supplies and get them on the shelf and decide what we need to still purchase. Um, we have a gallery committee, and that will be people who help when we open up and have an exhibit um, to plan our events and our grand openings. So if you're into physical work like painting, if you're into planning, planning gatherings and parties, or if you're into organizing, we've got something for everyone. Um, we also have um, a fundraising team that you can join. So if you just like to sit at home and stuff letters, we can we can have you do that as well. So that tab is right on the top of our website. I think it says volunteer. All right. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I'm just, it's a lot of opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, as you know, I, just imagining it in my head, I mean, as hard as that location was to run a, a customer facing utility, it w I, I think it'll be amazing for what you guys are doing, the space in there and, and the different little rooms. And then, yeah, then I'll that be grand, interested to see how it turns and out. And then the grand you know, area up front, I think could really be awesome. So yeah, we're really it's excited. It's gonna be amazing. So, yeah. It's gonna be really great. It's a great space. It's kind of shotgun style where everything heads straight down the hall, as mm -hmm. you all know. Yeah. Um, and the city did a beautiful job refinishing the, the floors mm -hmm. um, oh, and kind of cleaning it up for us. And so we're still painting but it is it's really coming to life so awesome. we're excited very cool well, well we sure do appreciate you coming in telling us about it we look forward to uh to seeing the fruits of your labor yeah. for sure and uh have a a, a good uh, community art center uh there at city hall for our kids and for uh those who need uh recovery and to, to have an outlet for something else to do and to be creative and get their mind at work and that's uh, just, just the kind of thing we need downtown, and I think you all are doing great things. Awesome. Thank you all so much for having me.